Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Not So Super Fan. So, I recently just watched uh, Rashad G review uh, talk about um, when they see us. Um, if you don't know about him, definitely check him out. Rashad G reviews dope uh, YouTuber. Um, and him talking about it just made me feel in a way that I, you know, I must talk about it. Because after watching the show, I didn't really want to talk about it, you know. It's one of those things uh, some of us tend to want to ignore because it's hit close to home. And it's just hard, you know, knowing that this stuff happened and still happening. And if you watch the show, the miniseries, it's, it's just, it's just hard, really hard to watch. Um, and and the, the crazy thing about it, the prosecutor, Linda uh, Fairstein, who convinced these kids to admit to a crime that they never committed and lost 15, all these years of their life in prison, wrote a book about it, making millions of dollars. And she still, to this day, saying that they're guilty of the crime. Even after the DNA evidence came out, she's still saying these boys are guilty. So, it's just ridiculous, you know? And she she has not received any type of punishment for what happened or nothing. It just shows you how the system works when, they, when you're a certain color or creed or background. And I know it doesn't happen all the time, but very few of us are lucky to not have experienced that, and I say that, I mean that in the most honest way, you know, uh, there's some of us who've experienced it, some of us who have not experienced that, that feeling, you know, of losing your freedom, you know, your dignity, and it, that's how it is, uh, and the sad thing about it, you know, watching the show, you realize, yeah, the justice system has not got any better you know young black kids latinos are being gone down being put sometimes they they're they're they they're, they're been put in prison for the most pettiest crime you know like having low amount of weed on them spend 20 years to something in prison and it's ridiculous and i i've i work with law enforcement closely and I'm friends with a lot of them and they're not all evil but there are some idiots in there that will abuse their power just like there are some prosecutors that will abuse their power and there's like some, some judge who will pass down a harsh sentence just to get reelected as a judge and it's true and some politician who will back certain laws just so they could get reelected, not knowing how it would affect certain people, certain family. And I want to get angry about this, but I'm tired of being angry about something that uh, people turn a blind eye to, you know, just like the title of the show when they see us, but they don't see us. Nobody sees us, you know. These problems are happening every day. It's been, post it's, it's been posted on social media. People are going out on the street to fight for it. But people are turning a blind eye to it because it's hard. People don't want to fight for it. People don't want to talk about it because it's one of those subjects they choose not to put bring into their household. I have friends who think, uh, who I talk to, who, who clearly don't believe, and they're white. And they don't, it's either they don't understand or they don't, they choose not to see. Certain people, they just think we, it, it's just a bold faced life because they never have to experience that issue. And I'm, I'm not veering off from the movie, but it, it, it's, it's, it's mainly what it is about because this problem happening. You literally have kids right now in prison for 20 years. It's either because they were at the wrong place at the wrong time. 
decide to smoke a little weed and spend the rest of their life in jail, but they, they spent their lives are ruined because of some of those pettiest crime. Or because nobody decided to do the work and investigate who actually did the crime. Like I said, it, it's something I want to get angry, you know, about, but it's it's just a lot of people are, ch are choosing to ignore problems out there, you know, because they don't want they don't want that stigma, you know, of it or fear of having to deal with it. Um, and it's not just white people, it's, it's, it's people of color, you know, some people of color too don't want to deal with it or some are just, um, the word is some are just being house niggas, straight up house niggas. And I, I can never know the experience of having to spend 5 to 10, 15 years of your life in prison not knowing if you're going to get out but I've experienced it a simple lie almost ruined my life I've experiences where where I was put in chain and having to watch you know, from the other side people looking at me embarrassed you know, your dignity, the feeling of having chains put on you just from a lie you know, and just being there, that experience, you know, made, I was depressed for years because of that, just that, you know, and I, and I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> spend, it's like two, a night, but just that experience, it's, I was depressed, you know, I would just think about prison, oh, I would see a movie about prison, I would quickly change the channel because I was scared to watch it because it would bring back that memory. And all that occurred because of a lie. And because of a judge who wanted to be harsh. And mind you know that judge now, he's been, I think he's been uh, forced to resign because they found out he was put, uh, given a harsher sentence to, certain, to black kids. And, but sometimes like I said, people, this, people don't understand this thing affects you. Not only your life financially, because these kids, I'm, I'm pretty sure, if, even if they get some kind of money from this uh, miniseries, but imagine now you're stigmatized as this criminal. This is on your record. You're stigmatized as a criminal. You can't find a good job, you know? It affects your life mentally too. And you have to live with that for the rest of your life because of a lie. Because somebody who wanted just to meet their quota or make money. Um, but, like I said, it's, it's, it's just ridiculous. You know, I, would, I hope with all my heart that. Or elected official sees that there is a problem in the system. Prisons are being piled up with innocence, but nobody sees it, and it 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 hurts me to the core that. The thing, like, it, that hurts me the most. It, I want to talk every time I'm trying to talk about. It, it's like right now I want to cry. The thing that that hurts me to the core about this is just like the title said, they don't, they don't, they don't. When they see us, but they don't actually see us. They, they don't. They only see us when the a crime is involved. They see your color, but they don't actually see us when good things are happening. First thing they're gonna point to is the black hair when the crime happened. First thing they're gonna judge the 
jury, the prosecutor is gonna see once you step into that podium, it's your color. And it, sorry, it just, it just hurts to think about it. But when they actually see us for who we are, you know, potential teachers, potential police officers, potential judge, movie makers, president. But they rather hit the gravel right there, send this kid to jail so I could get reelected, so I could do this. Cause I could write a book about how I sent these kids to prison. Fear, prejudice, it's a powerful, powerful entity that politicians use. And you've seen it on the video, how Donald Trump used that to try to get this kid the death penalty. And I, I, my boy said, I can't even review this. I, I don't think I should. Um, he, uh, my, my man brought, Rashad brought up the fact that some YouTubers don't even <laughs> ignore this fact. And I, I'm waiting some, uh, to see, um, not, even, not even just talk about it, just to see if some of the, uh, like the big YouTubers that I follow, that I look up to, will talk about this. Will they at least do a review and bring up the fact that there's a problem going on? But, but you know, nobody want to fuck with their money. At the end of the day, they want to focus on making money. But not for one second, they will stop and talk about the issue. But is it? Um, guys, I just wanted to talk about it because it, it, it's something that was down in my core. Uh, if you want to leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. If you experienced it or had a family who experienced this situation, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel. Um, how does this movie affect you personally? Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be getting back at you with more reviews and reaction.